What is up guys? Merry Christmas. Welcome back to the video. This that's probably like the first time in like a year that I've done a different intro But it is Christmas and I hope you guys are all having an amazing day We're gonna be doing some arenas. We're gonna be using the worst spike factory strategy ever I don't exactly I haven't like figured out which towers we're gonna use quite yet But we're gonna try and go late game as best we can it is bonanza Which is definitely gonna make things a bit easier also, we do have farmers. Actually, are we even allowed to bring farm if we're doing the worst strategy? Surely, yeah, we can't bring farm, can we? We can't bring farm. No, that wouldn't work. Okay, so we have to go late game with Spike Factory. We have to pick like the most terrible late game towers to accompany the Spike Factory. So, of course, Glue Gunner is not very good. What about like um, Balloon Chipper or like, ooh, what, what, what can we use that's like really, really bad at late game? Honestly, Dark Monkey is like pretty bad late game or something like Tax Shooter as well. I may pick, yeah, I think I'm going to pick one of those. I think we're going to go with the, the Tax Shooter. It's, it's still not that bad, but like late game with Spike Factory and Glue Gunner. <laughs> <laughs> that is such a bad strategy. This is literally the worst spike factory strategy you could go with. Luckily, it's Bonanza, which means it's definitely going to be easier. But like, seriously, he could he can probably easily take me out with a rush. And I don't know if this map is that good, honestly. But yeah, hope you guys are all, uh, all having a really, really good Christmas. I am too. I've got some really nice new speakers for my computer. Um, it does make my video sound a bit weird though because like I hear so much more bass with these speakers They're really really nice. But yeah, hope you guys are all doing good Tell me what you guys get in the comment section if you do get things if you don't celebrate Christmas Then I hope you still have a good day nonetheless Also guys if you're new here, please subscribe and click the like button. I would appreciate that. But yeah, um, we're just gonna we're just gonna have to eco because we literally we don't have farms. I that, that really sucks I hate going eco uh, but it's okay, we can go eco, apart from if they go eco against me. Oh my god, okay. This is gonna get a bit annoying, because Spike Factory, early game against balloons, it's it's not good. Even though we have, like, so much money, it's still gonna be a bit hard to defend. If he goes, like, like all out with the eco, and he sends, like, a, like endless pinks and stuff like that, it's, it's gonna be a bit hard to defend against. But, like, Spike Factory is actually a decent late game tower sometimes, but yeah. This guy is going for literal space blues right now on round four. So I don't think he's going to do too much harm. And he's gone back to the reds. Dude, there are literally pinks and blues, like a group blues that you can send right now. I don't know why he's not doing that, but it's okay. We're not going to question him. He has the heli pilot. I don't know if he has. Oh, he probably does have four tiers unlocked. But Apache is always good at going late game. Uh, I don't know if this map is that good for fitting Apache's. I mean, there's a decent amount of space. This is definitely going to go late game. It's definitely going to go late game unless I somehow don't get enough eco and like I die really early or he doesn't know how to play. But okay, you know, he has farm. This this is actually going to be interesting. Okay, he has two farms now. Great. Uh, I don't know why he isn't upgrading them. Like why? Okay, this guy confuses me. I guess he's probably new to the game. Like when I was new to the game, I remember showing my friends at school, like one of my friends who also played the game. And I, I told him I discovered this like really, really good strategy. <laughs> and it was just me rushing with regen rainbows on round 13. And if they didn't defend, then great, I got the win. And if they defended, like I, I just instantly got the loss. And obviously that isn't a good strategy. But like 13, 14 year old me thought that was an amazing strategy. And of course, it, it was not it was not a good strategy. And I was not very good back then. And then I actually got good. Then I started playing competitively. Then I got bad again. And here we are playing <laughs> in Lead Dungeon. Bonanza. Oh, we don't want to kill him. We really don't want to kill him. Is he? He's using big balloon beat down. Oh my god. But yeah, things really do go uh, go full circle. We're at Christmas, almost New Year. I'm back playing oh, like arenas, like really low arenas. But yeah, uh, I didn't mean to almost kill him right there. He has Super Monkey. He has Super Monkey, which is good. Uh, uh oh, uh oh. He's going for this. Okay, are we gonna be okay? Please, can we not like actually die to this? Like seriously, I. Are you kidding me? Seriously, Spike Factory sucks early game. It's so bad. It is really, really bad. Okay, let's get another Spike Factory right here. Uh, hopefully three is enough. If three isn't enough, then I'm going to be not happy. But like, I, I think it will be enough. Please, can you can you be enough? That is like, how much money is that? Dude, are you kidding me? We're literally almost leaking to the yellows. And we have so much. That's like 20k worth of defense right here. And we're dying to yellows. This is why Spike Factory is not a good early game, guys. <laughs> That's so bad. I didn't even realize it was that bad. These are li literally yellows that we're almost dying against. Oh, my God. Um, let's get one more, I guess. 
Dude, imagine if you were selling pinks. I would literally die. Okay, we're fine now, though. I've got those. We can just casually go back to ecoing. I hope. Are we safe? It looks like we're almost dying. Dude, I'm actually so scared. We do have damage boost, and we do have the lightnings if we do need them. If he went for a massive rush against me, I would be toast, but I don't think he will. I don't think he's going to go for a massive rush against me, because he barely has any farms right now. Which he, he, I don't know why he's not farming. Or she, sorry, I'm assuming genders, but I don't know why they're not farming. Like, they probably have a lot of money. They did get a lot of eco, though, because they were sending a lot of yellows right there. And he's going for Apache, so he does have fourth there. Okay, so this is probably going to go decently late game. And he's sending me blacks. I don't understand. Please don't die. If we die against blacks with this many spike batteries, that I don't even know what to say. Dude, are you kidding me? It's actually getting close. I'm literally so scared right now. Oh my god. Okay, let's use... Uh, okay, we've got six spike factories right here at the back. Six spiked bull factories. We're gonna go for a seventh. If we die, I have no... No, is he actually going for a rush? Is he going for a rush against me or something? Dude, I don't understand why spike factories are so bad. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> How are we almost dying against this? <laughs> okay, guys, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We have seven. That is enough. That has to be enough. That has to be enough spike batteries. Okay, I'm, I'm just going to try and relax now. He can send them all up next round. We're going to be okay. This is really bad, though, because we don't have farms. We can't get that much money. If he goes to a rush, I am literally, I'm going to die if he sends like a massive rush. Luckily, it isn't speed. So let's just concentrate on getting our eco uh, back up as much as we possibly can. He doesn't have that much money. He can't send us a massive rush. Also, we do have damage boost if we do need to use that. But yeah. For now, until at least round 20, we're just going to keep on max ecoing. We're not going to get any more defense up for now. It doesn't look like he's actually wanting to send me anything, which is nice. And we still do have an okay defense. And we can use Spike Storm if we do need to with the damage boost. But yeah, I did not realize Spike Factory was that bad late game, uh, early game. Oh my god, that was really... He's going for rainbows! He's literally going for rainbows. Um, Oh my god. I am literally so scared. Are we going to have to damage boost this? Are we going to have to damage boost this? Oh my god. I, I, I don't even believe this. I do not believe this. How are we almost dying to that? Oh my god. We don't even, Are we actually going to die? Are we actually going to die to this? Are you... Please. We cannot die. Oh my god. This is way too close. This is way too close. How are we almost dying? This, this sucks so bad. Oh my god. This is truly the worst Spike Factory strategy. It really sucks. <laughs> Just going Spike Factory only is the worst Spike Factory strategy. It is literally so bad. He's going for more. He's going for more. But I have so many Spike Factories now. If I die, I will be so mad. Look at this. Look how many I have right now. That has to be enough Spike Factories. I swear. Okay, let's go for another one. Oh, it's getting so close to the end, dude. It's getting so close to the end. I'm using another boost. I'm using another damage boost. I am so scared if it getting past that tiny spike pile right there. I, I just I just want to use that. Now we have two spike storms. We're a bit more in the clear, but like he's really scaring me, man. We only have one damage boost remaining. <laughs> we only have one left. I am really scared. He's only going for like blacks now, so I guess he's just going back to nice eco. I am so scared though. Like seriously, how is I did I did not realize Spike Factory was this bad against balloons. Like it's really bad. Okay, so let's go for spiked mine factory. That's probably Gonna be, well, obviously it's gonna be a lot better. Uh, we'll gradually get more of those, but I do also want to get a bunch of spike storms as well. Of course, spike storms are what's gonna cut it against all of the mob class moves. Let's use this as well. And nice 460 eco, actually. Wow, that's actually really good. But yeah, his eco is always gonna stress me out because it, it makes it seem like I'm about to die. Let's go for another spiked mine factory. They make me feel a bit more safe, honestly. Knowing I have like the spiked mine factories, they're pretty damn good. Also, knowing I have two spike storms just in case they do get very, very close to the end. But yeah, basically every other spike factory I get from now on is going to be the spike storm. I think that's what the, uh, I think that's what I'm going to do. He is very strange. <laughs> like, not trying to be rude or anything, but like his farming's been really bad. He could have farmed a lot better. He's been good with the eco or the rushes or whatever the hell he's doing. Like, it's really stressing me out, but it looks like we're going to be okay for now. Uh, we can actually afford three more of these, actually. Uh, almost four, which is really, really good. Let's try and go for this one as soon as possible. There we go. Okay, that's enough spike mines for now. I'm just going to concentrate on the spike storms for now. For all of the mob class stuff, because he could send me a more brush. Dude, he could actually go for it. And I am scared because I don't have... I only have one damage boost left. I only have one left because he's been so aggressive with the eco and everything. 
It's kind of weird being aggressive with Eco and rushes in Bonanza like this, but like that's literally what he's doing if he doesn't even intend to, because the spike factory is just really, really bad apparently. It's actually no, it's all right late game, but like for now it really sucks. <laughs> like look how far these ceramics. Actually, no, the ceramics didn't even get that far. It was just the rainbows, honestly. Okay, so he's going for, like, just some random soup monkeys. You do you, dude. Um, let's just get up all of our spike factories that we possibly can. I've been using spike factory quite a lot on the channel recently. And, like, before, before recently, I've literally... Oh, God, are we going to cause a region rush? Are we going to be okay? I'm just using spike stomach. Yeah, I just want to make sure we're safe against that. Because I know we can, like, cause massive regen farms with the spike factory sometimes. And that is not something I want to happen. That is... N you do not want a regen farm like that. That's ne that's never something you want. But, yeah. We have a lot of money, so we can go for a lot of these. Remember, if there are tons of regions on the screen, I can literally just spam, like, tons of spike storms, and that will probably sort everything. Uh, as soon as we can, let's get this. Nice. Okay, I'm feeling a lot better about our defense right now. It is definitely looking a lot better. His defense is really not that good. He's probably going to die to the first ZOMG if he doesn't get up more stuff. He still has, he has factories, though, and he has eco. He probably has, like, 3, 4k eco, which is good. As you can see, we're going to absolutely shred the mobs with those mob uh, shredder spikes. It's The clue is kind of in the name. They're very, very good at their job. Uh, but yeah, it seems like we're doing pretty well at the moment. Let's just keep on ecoing. Let's get to 10k at least. And then we'll just start spamming. Actually, no, we, we can go a bit further than that. Let's try and get to like round 32. We're just going to max eco into round 32. And then we're going to get up all of our towers. We're not going to rush him. I don't want to rush him. I want to go as late game as we possibly can. I want him to die first without me not even having... Like, I don't even want to have to do anything. And honestly, I don't think we will have to do anything. I think he's just... I, I think he's just going to die before me. Because Spike Factories are actually good. If you've watched the Can Spike Factories Go Late Game video, or something... I think it's called something like that. You'll, you'll see for yourself. Spike Factory can definitely hold its own late game. It's actually good. Unlike most towers, which suck late, uh, early game. Like, okay, the Super Monkey actually sucks early game as well. And that's really good late game. But that's only because of the cost, really. Like, if, if it was a lot cheaper, then it would be good. But yeah, it's so expensive and it really does suck. But, okay, here are camel leads. I was, I was kind of scared for a moment, but then I realized there's, there's literally no trouble. We can pop those very, very easily. So let's just keep on getting these. Also, guys... If you haven't bought it uh, yet, I would really appreciate it if you did check out my merch. The link is in the description. I know I've mentioned it in videos a lot recently, and I apologize about that, but I think it's really, really cool, and I think you guys should definitely go buy some if you do like the designs, and hopefully you guys do. But yeah, let's let's go for more spike storms. Let's go for more spike mines. Let's just go for as many spike factories as we possibly can. Now, of course, the ones in this corner, which can't like meet the track at all, are gonna be uh, the spike storms. Are we gonna be okay against this? We're, that, we're gonna be okay, right? Oh, that that got really far. That got so far. How did that go? How did that get so far to the end? Oh my god. Uh, let's just use a couple of spike storms against this. Okay, we're good. Um, let's go for another one of those there. Let's just keep on building as many as we can. I don't know how many we can fit. Hopefully it doesn't lag out the game. Hopefully our opponent actually has, like, good Wi-Fi or something. Let's use two spike storms right there. Obviously the spike mines will probably deal with the ceramics just fine. I just want to make sure that we're absolutely okay. Um, can we fit any more... We can definitely fit one in there. There we go. Can we fit one... Dude, can we fit one in there? How come we can fit one in the other hole? Dude, we could fit... The other hole was big enough to fit it. Oh, well. Doesn't matter. Oh, my God. Look at all these spikes just randomly on the map. Literally not able to do anything. But, yeah. These will all be spike storms. Dude, we're going to have such a nice spike factory defense right here. Let's go for a couple more spike mines. Oh, I haven't even upgraded half of these. Oh, my God. That probably annoyed some of you guys. Let's just make sure every single one of these is upgraded. Nice. Okay. Looks like everything is upgraded. Uh, yeah, let's just keep on going for all of the spike storms. BFP is coming out right now. It's getting serious. We're going to be absolutely fine, though. Apart from we are slightly running out of money, actually. We are actually running out of money. Look at this. We only have 33k. Okay, well, yeah, again, 33k because we just got the eco bonus. But yeah, we are doing pretty damn well. 13 minutes in. Round 34, we're not going to die anytime soon. Unless we mistime the abilities. It's a shame that I used up most of my damage boosts already. Like, I'm really not happy with that. Also, I'm sorry if I missed the tower. It's, like, really confusing. I I think I've got literally everything upgraded. Apart from, obviously, these ones down the corner that I've missed deliberately. Because I don't really have enough money yet. 
But yeah, I think everything looks good. Oh, is it like, is it gonna lag out? That was a bit of lag. Please don't lag out. I would appreciate that if you didn't lag out. It is Christmas. If you did, that would make the video very sad because I literally, I, I don't have time to record another video because I have to do Christmas stuff. Uh, because of course it is Christmas and therefore you do Christmas stuff <laughs> on Christmas. But yeah, um, let's just keep on. Oh, I know why it was lagging. It's probably because there are so many regens on this round or something. So let's just use a, uh, let's just use a spike stun right here. It is round 35. You know what? I'm probably going to rush him. I am, yeah, I, I kind of want to rush him because I really don't want it to lag out or something like that. But yeah. Oh, we have got our defense finish, finally. We are 14 minutes in. We have got our entire Spike Factory defense with the worst Spike Factory strategy ever, which is basically just Spike Factory by itself. Because, like, obviously, I could put glue gunners down, but, like, literally, that's it's not going to do anything. I mean, I could, I, I'm going to put a couple of glue gunners down just so it's, like, not completely Spike Factory by itself. There you go. There are some glue gunners. Let's, let's put a attack shooter down as well. Let's put that right here. There we go. The worst spec, uh, factory or spike factory strategy ever, which is literally just the spike factory by itself because the other towers are completely useless. Uh, but yeah, spike factory by itself is, is still good. So it's like not a bad strategy. It, it's just kind of amusing that the worst one is literally it by itself. But yeah, um, I hope you guys enjoy. Um, let's let's see who wins this. Like obviously he has better towers. Like, he, he's definitely destroying things faster than me, but I have a trick up my sleeve. I have 38 Spike Storms, which I can use whenever I want to. I also have a damage boost, which is better than his big... Actually, is that better than his big Bloom Buster? I'm not sure. Because he's only used one. I think he has two left, and I only have one. He may actually have the upper hand. Oh, God. He may actually have the upper hand. I am going to rush him, though. I am going to rush him on round 40. Let's say, let's say round 45, I'm going to rush him. He is definitely destroying things faster than me. But, like, look at this. Look at this, dude. If I just use my spike storms, it's just, just demolish. Just demolish. Well, almost demolished. It took a while for the mobs and the balloons to be killed. But, like, very quickly, we can take out stuff. Because we have 30... Was it 39? Dude, I can't even remember. It was definitely a lot of spike songs, but okay. Region rainbows on this round. This is not good. This is, guys, this is where glue gunner comes in clutch, guys. This is where glue gunner comes in clutch against the regen balloons. Let's go for it. Balloon layer caught fire. Amazing. Best, uh, best uh, spike factory. Dude, and they're actually getting mad pops. Look at that. That's so good. It's actually, like, legitimately how unironically helping out. Oh my god, that's hilarious. And we could even, guys, we could even, we could even dare use a Maelstrom, guys. Should we, should we do it? There we go. We're going to use two Maelstroms. Oh my god, the worst Spike Factory strategy ever, of course. Instantly demolished with those Spike Storms. Oh my god, that was insane. <laughs> that was insane. I say, dude, people, some people, some of my friends say I say insane too, too many times in my videos. I don't think I do. I think, I think I say insane just the right amount of times. Tell me in the comment section what you think about that. I honestly think I don't. Also, round 41, is it round 42 or round 43 where the ZMG comes? I'm actually, I can't remember for some reason. I genuinely can't. Also, look at this 2,000 pops. Like, 5,000 pops in total over all of those glue gunners. That's actually quite a lot. Uh, but yeah, we're just going to use... Okay, so it's obviously the next round where it comes out. Uh, are we going to be okay? Yes, we are going to be okay because we have all of these ma amazing spike mines at the back of the map. I am slightly concerned because his defense is doing a bit better than mine. Um, which is kind of worrying me. I didn't think he'd do that well. Like with only that many towers. But he's... Oh, that got really close. That got so close. Oh my god. Did you see that? That that nearly got to the end. Okay, I should be a bit worried, shouldn't I? I should be a bit worried. Like, his defense is, like, not good at all. But that was really close on my side. I definitely need to be more careful, okay? ZMG coming out now. Um, let's just see how we do without using the spike storms. I want to see how much damage we do compared to him. Uh, it looks like who's going to... I, I want to see who destroys it first. It looks like I'm damaging it quicker without even using the spike storms. Yeah. We are actually damaging. Look at that. We're actually damaging it quicker. Oh my god. Are we even going to have to use our spike? Yeah, probably. Uh, we're probably going to have to use them. But like, dude, that's actually so much better than him. I'm just going to use like a couple, like 15 right there just to destroy all of that. But yeah. Oh, he's actually using his boost. He is using his boost against that ZMG. We're not even going to have to rush him. I think we're going to win this. Yeah, I really do think we're going to win this. And all of the spikes from those spikes. Oh, it's two. Ah, oh, it's two. Okay. His boost is still running, though, against these ZMG. No, he's going for a rush! He's going for a rush! Are you kidding me? 
Oh no, he's going for a rush. Oh my god, we're actually gonna die. We're actually gonna get taken down because he's gonna rush me. Are you kidding me? Okay, we're gonna damage boost and we're gonna use all of these spike storms. Oh my god. This is gonna cause so much lag. He's actually gonna take me down because he went for the rush first. Are you kidding me? That makes me so annoyed, but there's nothing we can do. Like, fair game. If he wants to rush me first, then he's won. I wanted to go late game. But, well played. Let's use our last Maelstroms. We're literally gonna go down. Oh, is he gonna die first? Please die first. That is so close. But we're gonna get we're gonna die first. Guys, hope you enjoyed that video. Have a nice Christmas and see you in the next one.